Development funding for Baltimore 100 Years was provided by the Dr. Francis P. Caramonte Family Foundation. There aren't a whole lot of cities like Baltimore. It's got this chip on its shoulder. Growing up, I would always hear complaints from people that we were being overlooked as a city. National weather maps would always say Washington and then New York skip over us. Baltimore had, and in some ways still does, have an inferiority complex. Baltimore was known back in the 50s as sort of like this little stop along the way from Philadelphia or New York to Washington. It really didn't have much of an identity at all, at least in the terms of sports fans. Jim Brady was the Secretary of Economic Development during the Glenn Denning administration when the uh, Ravens arrived and he said, you know, it's not so much the dollar economic impact, it's the psyche of having an NFL team. I've always viewed uh, professional sports as a way of bringing communities together. I just love it when I look around at the stadium and you see people who may not live near one another, all of a sudden they're sitting next to one another in the stadium rooting for the same team. The fabric of a city, it's a tapestry of things. And the sports franchises that you have play a very, very important part in holding that tapestry together. They are the, the one time that people can come together, race, religion, politics, you know, aren't important. There's a unanimity of purpose. And in the times we live in today, I think in some ways it's even more important than it was 20 or 40 or 50 years ago that we have something that does bring people together. Now what would help us if the Ravens went to the Super Bowl and the Orioles went to the World Series, all of a sudden there would be conversation about Baltimore that's very different.